and the Department of Health has been forced to hold an extra public meeting in Fermanagh next month. Sarah Moore has been speaking to one stroke survivor. Linda Donahay's life changed forever when she had a stroke at 39 six years ago. I had a, a normal life and from the stroke I feel like I'm now like an elderly person. can't do what you used to do and I'm still young if you don't mind. You know, and I'm, I'm living a different life. Linda was cared for at the South West Hospital in Enniskillen, having been referred there from OMA. The mother of one from Fintana was initially sent home from hospital at the weekend before she was rushed back by ambulance and an MRI scan was then carried out. Do you think it is true in your scenario that really you can't be sick at the weekends because the staff simply aren't there? Yes, I find that. The difference of care that I received during the week was completely different because I had consultants. I had the use of an MRI. Um, the blood tests and everything were quicker, whereas it doesn't seem to happen at a weekend. So, at, I don't know, there is feelings for weekend illnesses. And that's something they should look at? Yes, I believe so because, you know, you don't know when you're going to be sick. A public consultation on reshaping stroke services across Northern Ireland has now been extended until the 2nd of August. There are six potential new models of stroke care out for consideration. The recommendations would see the number of units cut from 11 to 3 or 5 hyper-acute stroke units as they are known, along with a number of acute units. The Department of Health claims these units would be suitably staffed, expert teams on the spot, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. From your own personal experience, where are the services failing? I actually think it's aftercare that's failing because yes, your body heals, you're young and it, it does heal but then the emotional effects. Mm -hmm. So there's things like counselling and things that wasn't available to me and I felt that's where I was failed. A big fear also is this overhaul could see the South West unit close. We're very aware of people's concerns. We're very aware of the quality of service provided by our stroke teams in Enniskillen and also across Northern Ireland. But we are also aware that the current organisation of, of services can sometimes make it difficult um, for services to, produce the, uh, to provide um, the highest quality of care consistently across 24 hours. There is a big campaign underway to protect the stroke services here in Fermanagh. A public meeting is being held in Enniskillen tonight. The demands and interest into this public consultation has also forced the Department of Health to hold an extra event. It's clear those living here are set on saving the services they have on their doorstep. Sarah Moore, UTV Live, Fermanagh. Well, still to come on this evening's programme.